what began in chemistry as, hey, let's copy some natural polymers like rubber or silk has become its own industry of synthetic polymers and not just copying natural polymers, but just coming up with polymers of all different functions. So there are the solid plastics that we come across most regularly, but fabrics and coatings and gels, oops, there are only six, there are called the big six, that account for 75% of the polymers that are used everywhere. All six of these have in common is that they're thermoplastic. They can be melted and shaped, and that leads to the possibility of recycling. And so therefore, these are both plastics with the acronyms, but also they have the recycling number values. And that's similar to the periodic table where each element has its element symbol and also its element number that represents the atomic number. So each plastic has its name and shortened version or acronym of the name, like high density polyethylene, HDPE, and low density polyethylene, LDPE. But these are also tied to recycling number values so that they can be sorted. So HDPE is, is plastic number two and LDPE is plastic number. So how these polymers are different in the, the main six is the monomers. But the reaction, the addition polymerization is the same where you have a reactive catalyst, that's the uh, free radical catalyst that takes whatever number of monomers you start with and bonds them one at a time on one side until you have a polymer chain that has incorporated every single one of those monomers. We already looked at polyethylene, which forms LDPE and HDPE. Um, this one, LDPE, has the branching, and HDPE is not, not branching, but straight chains. But we'll also look at the addition polymerization with these monomers, which are, so vinyl chloride has one chlorine atom. Styrene is a hydrocarbon, but this is a six-carbon ring with three double bonds. This is what this is, um, is called a benzene ring. And then we'll also have propylene, which is a three carbon monomer, one, two, three. And that is like ethylene, which had two carbons, one, two. It has the prefix eth, and this has the prefix prop, same from mother eats peanut butter. Now, each of these plastics has unique properties, which is why it's a plastic that's in common use. Um, so what all these plastics have in common is they're recyclable, hence the recycling symbols. They also are solids. Um, in general, they're they can be clear or colored um, or opaque, can't see through. Uh, they're insoluble in water, which means um, they will not dissolve in water. And in fact, most of these float in water, which leads to the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean. They're also not easily biodegradable, that when these plastics are formed, they're very durable and it can take decades or hundreds of years to break down these plastics under natural and normal conditions, which is biodegradation.